Welcome to this video on changing the Dashboard's data connection string in Dashboard Viewer using the Syncfusion Dashboard Platform SDK. Consider you have created the dashboard file called not been product details from the dashboard designer with the data from the database in the testing machine. If you want to change the data connection string to run into the production environment, you can follow the steps described in this video. As well as this feature will fit when you have database with multi-tenant support in it, you can easily change the connection string for each users to view their data from the dashboard file hosted in ASP.NET MVC application. This feature can be achieved through on-apply connection event API while initializing the dashboard viewer control. Now I have opened the dashboard file Northwind product details in dashboard designer in which we are going to see the demo by changing the connection string. You can see the data source name is sample. For this demo, let's consider the source and destination data storage system to be Microsoft SQL Server. Now edit the data source to see the connection string configuration. You can see that it holds the source Microsoft SQL Server's connection details. Let's change these connection details through the ASP.NET MVC application at runtime so that connecting to the destination machine's Microsoft SQL Server will not affect the connection details in the dashboard file. Let me run the project and launch it in the browser. This dashboard is an actual view of the Northwind product details dashboard file. Now I'm going to click the button change connection string. The dashboard file is updated with the modified server name after changing the connection string at runtime. Let's see how this can be achieved in an ASP.NET MVC application by step by step process. To know more about the download and installation part of Syncfusion Dashboard Platform SDK, please look at the installing Syncfusion Dashboard Platform SDK video available in the playlist. I have already created ASP.NET MVC application in Microsoft Visual Studio development environment and referred the needed assembly syncfusion.ej.dashboardware.mvc and added the required scripts, fonts and themes under the folder called content and initialized the dashboard viewer control with the Northwind product details dashboard file. You can create ASP.NET MVC application with an embedded dashboard viewer using the manual steps or create ASP.NET MVC application using the Syncfusion dashboard viewer ASP.NET MVC extensions. Please refer the videos at adding Syncfusion dashboard viewer to ASP.NET MVC application using dashboard viewer ASP.NET MVC wrapper and creating Syncfusion dashboard viewer ASP.NET extensions available in the playlist and continue to proceed on changing the data connection string. Let's start to change the data connection string in the application. It is important to encrypt the connection string information while passing it from server to client. So we need to add syncfusion.dashboard.encryption assembly manually from the pre-compiled assemblies folder. You can find the pre-compiled assemblies folder from the local app data location and use your compatible version of .NET framework. Ensure to add newtonsoft.json assembly with version 10 or higher to the application since the syncfusion.dashboard.encryption assembly uses version 10. Now syncfusion.dashboard.encryption and newtonsoft.json libraries has been included in the project. Let me open the controller class since I have already created and named it as dashboard viewer controller. Add the code to generate an encrypted connection string. To generate an encrypted connection string with the new server for the destination data storage, I have created an object called dashboard crypto provider class and then set the encryption type to advanced encryption standard. Then I have created an object for connection class and initialized its data sources property with a list of data source connection string objects. Then I have created connection parameters and assigned the properties authentication type, server name, username, password and database since I have used Microsoft SQL Server as data storage. You can use other data storage also and refer the connection parameters to be passed for the corresponding data storage 
in the documentation. The link is available in this video description. Ensure the source and destination data storage systems are the same and database schemas are similar. Also ensure the user at least has the read permission in the database. Since we are going to use SQL Server authentication, the authentication type is set as 1. For Windows authentication, set the value to 0. The Windows authentication type can be set only when the destination data storage system and this application exist in the same machine. Then I have created an object for data source connection string and set the properties name and connection string and add it to the data sources collection. The name should match the data source name in the dashboard file. Here the name should be sample. Create a connection string generator object and call the get connection string method by passing the connection parameters we created and the connection provided type as SQL Server and the ODBC DBMS type as none. If you have more data sources to change in the dashboard file, you can do this by adding the respective data source connection string objects to the data sources collection. Call the do encryption method of the dashboard crypto provider object by passing the serialized connection object and store it in the view back by creating a new dynamic property named modified string. Now we have added code necessary for server side. Let's add the code in client side. Let me open the index.cshtml file in the views folder for the corresponding dashboard viewer controller. Dashboard viewer HTML helper statement already has the service URL and dashboard path configured in it. For the demo sample, Syncfusion dashboard service is hosted in IIS Express. For deployment related information, please refer to the video Deployment of Syncfusion Dashboard Service in this video description. Dashboard path should be accessible to the given dashboard service URL. Let's edit the dashboard viewer HTML helper statement. Now I have added the client side event for on apply connection and named it as on apply connection at initial load method to apply the modified connection string during initial loading of the dashboard viewer. Create a function named on apply connection at initial load under a script tag and set the modified connection string from view back to the dashboard's object modified connection strings property. Now we have added code necessary for client side. Build and run the application to see the dashboard. Now the dashboard is rendered with the modified data from the destination Microsoft SQL Server. You can see the difference in the dashboard data by comparing the dashboard file and application result. We have modified the connection string at initial loading of dashboard. To change the dashboard data connection string at runtime, let's create a button control and change the connection string while clicking on it. Let me add the code for button control. Remove the client side event on apply connection at initial load function which are no longer needed. I have created a click function in jQuery, get the dashboard object and set the on apply connection string object with a function named modify connection string. Call the redraw dashboard method to redraw the dashboard. Now create a function modify connection string and set the modified connection string from view back to the dashboard's object modified connection strings property. Now build and run the application to see the dashboard. This dashboard is an actual output of Northwind product details dashboard file. Let's click the button change connection string. You can see the difference in the dashboard data after the button click. Now we have seen the demo for changing connection string at initial loading as well as changing the connection string at runtime. You can find the online help documentation for changing the data connection string in dashboard at runtime in the video description. Thanks for watching the video.